A new season of American Horror Story is right around the corner, and this time they're transporting us to New York City. After a long year of little to no promo on the season, FX and Ryan Murphy have finally begun the promotional campaign, and we've got a teaser, cast portraits, episode titles, leaks from the set, and so much more, so make sure you stay tuned. But before I jump into all things American Horror Story, let me tell you a little bit about our sponsor for today's video, Atlas VPN. On Halloween, everyone is entitled to a good scare, but the real horror story this October is online insecurity. So if you're browsing the web without a VPN, that means your IP address is exposed to tracking and you might be exposing yourself to malicious malware as well. Lucky for you, Atlas VPN is offering you the best deal in the market and there are no limits on how many devices you can connect. That means you can connect um, your phone, your laptop, and any other tech you have in your life for the same price. And right now, they are offering you a limited time offer of three years of their service at just $1.99 a month. That is 82% off their normal rate, so make sure you go to the link in the description below to get this amazing offer. Atlas VPN is more than just a VPN. Not only does it block ads and malware, it also gets you the best deals from all around the web whether you're buying a subscription to Netflix or you're booking a hotel. And has your favorite show or movie ever been removed from your favorite streaming platforms? Well, with Atlas VPN, you can gain access to international streaming libraries across the world with just the click of a button. Like I mentioned before, Atlas VPN is running a huge discount right now, meaning you can get a three-year subscription for just $1.99 a month with a 30-day money-back guarantee. This deal is for a limited time only, so be sure you click the link in the description or go to get.atlasvpn slash Skylar Gaetano, like I said. Thanks again to Atlas VPN for helping this channel out and sponsoring today's video. But now let's start with the basics. American Horror Story NYC, like you may have guessed, takes place in New York City and it will largely be a period piece set in the 80s. And there have been rumors about plot points potentially taking place in the 70s as well as present day. However, as of right now, the only time period I can confidently confirm is the decade of the 1980s. And after American Horror Story 1984, it will be interesting to see what tone they go for and which classic horror films from the decade of the 80s they may reference this time. All right, let's continue this AHS news bonanza with some brand new character posters for the main cast of season 11, New York City. I'll take these one by one, giving you some stats about the actor and what little tidbits of info we have gathered about their character this season. First up, we have a character named Sam, played by Zachary Quinto. You know him from all the way back in Murder House, where he played Chad, and in Asylum, where he memorably played uh, the villainous Dr. Oliver Threadson. Notably, he has not appeared for the past eight consecutive seasons of American Horror Story, meaning his return in NYC will be his first appearance in the series in 10 years. I was definitely surprised to see his inclusion in the cast, and I'm very happy to see that he's going to be a main cast member this year as well. As for his character of Sam, we don't really know much about him yet. His character portrait seems to depict him tangled up in a whip and surrounded by leather tassels, so I think it's safe to say that the BDSM vibes of the promotional campaign will definitely leak into the season as well, and perhaps Sam is at the center of those plot points. The next character portrait FX released was Adam, played by Charlie Carver. This is Charlie's first AHS role, but you may recognize him from this year's The Batman movie, or his role in Ryan Murphy's Netflix series, Ratchet. As for Adam, we know some small details based on a couple of set leaks. In leaked footage that a fan took of Charlie Carver filming a scene for the season in New York City, we see him walking with Isaac Powell's character into a psychic's office. The pair share some ice cream cones as well, and a kiss in some more footage from that same shoot. In a different scene that they filmed on the same day, Charlie Carver's Adam is shown walking Billy Lord's character into that same psychic's office. Adam gets pretty close to Billy's character as well, so maybe there's something to Adam potentially seeking out many different relationships at once perhaps in connection, whatever is going down inside of this psychic's office. More on Billy Lord and Isaac Powell's characters in just a bit, but this is all I can gather about Charlie Carver's character named Adam right now. But his relationship with Isaac's character and this psychic is something to watch out for, definitely. Next up, we got a look at Russell Tovey's character, and his name is Patrick. You probably know Russell from a lot of things, but to refresh your memory, he's had roles in Doctor Who, Quantico, 
and Sherlock to name a few, but this will be his first foray into a Ryan Murphy production as far as I know. His character Patrick seems to work for the NYPD based on his attire and his badge. I'd assume some sort of detective, but there's definitely a lot left to be learned about this character. Next we have a character poster for Henry, played by American Horror Story veteran Dennis O'Hare. You know him from his eight appearances across the franchise, including Murder House, Coven, and most recently Double Feature in the second installment of American Horror Stories. As for Henry, he seems to be a wealthy elite type character based on his wardrobe and styling choices in the poster. He's been seen filming scenes on Fire Island with Zachary Quinto, so definitely expect Henry and Sam to be affiliated. Patty Lupone makes her glamorous return to AHS as a character named Kathy. This marks Patty's second appearance in the series, but it's been nine years since her last appearance as Joan, the neighbor who lived next door to Miss Robichaux's academy in Coven. You may also know Patty from her status as a Broadway legend, as well as numer numerous roles in film and television including Pose and Glee. As far as her character Kathy, we don't know anything solid, but I would guess based on her wardrobe as well that she may be some sort of socialite, maybe a performer who hangs around the similar circles as Dennis O'Hare's character Henry. This is pure speculation, but nonetheless, I'm very excited to see how they utilize Patty's many talents in this season. I also think we should note the amount of actors from Broadway that are in this season. There may be a Broadway-related plot point. Maybe some of these characters are Broadway actors themselves. Um, definitely something to look for in this season. Billy Lord plays Hannah, a doctor, according to her recent Instagram post. Dr. Hannah is also presumably pregnant for at least a portion of the season. As stated earlier, Hannah shares at least one scene with Adam, played by Charlie Carver, where he is rubbing her stomach as if she's pregnant. So whether or not Adam is the father or he's just a close friend of Hannah's is yet to be seen, of course, as well as what type of doctor Hannah is. All I know is I'm hoping Hannah has more screen time than Billy's last character, Lark. But next we got Sandra Bernhard returning with a character named Fran. You know her from AHS Apocalypse and from Pose, and she's back for more with NYC. As for Fran, we know very little about her aside from her knack for grocery shopping, as well as a connection to the Psychics Reader's office as well. She was seen walking out of that filming location. Isaac Powell is back as a character named Theo. You know him from the Death Valley part of Double Feature or for his career on Broadway. As for his character Theo, well, we already know he's romantically entangled with Charlie Carver's Adam, and based on his two character posters that were released, I think Theo is a cinematographer of sorts, most likely working in the pornography industry. It would be interesting to see if AHS NYC will take influence from this year's X, which follows a group of amateur filmmakers filming a porno in 1979. Aside from Theo's filmmaking career, we know he is also connected to the psychic's office in that he is brought there by Adam, just like Hannah was as well. Leslie Grossman continues her hot streak with her fifth American Horror Story season in a row, this time playing a character called Barbara. But unfortunately, we do not know any damning details about Barbara, so let's just move on to Cal Penn, who's playing an NYPD detective named Mac Marzara. You may know of Cal for his roles on House or Designated Survivor, or from the 2022 horror film that is now playing called Smile. His character Mac is one of the characters that we didn't know existed until his character poster was revealed. So aside from his affiliation with the NYPD, this one is a big question mark. Next we have another AHS newbie on our hands, Sis will be playing a character named Dunaway. From what I can tell, AHS NYC will be Sis's first major role. She previously had a small role on the TBS show The Last OG with Tracy Morgan. She also played a leading role in a national tour of the Broadway show Oklahoma, as well as organizing the Trans March on Broadway to demand visibility and respect for trans performers. We know next to nothing about her character, as like with Cal Penn's character. We did not know she was in this season until her poster was released. But based on her wardrobe and her very fancy cigarette holder, I would guess that she too has a connection to the psychic's office, 
and maybe she is even the psychic reader herself. And the last poster we're gonna look at today is for Rebecca Dian's character, Alana. You know Rebecca Dian from Death Valley and the facelift episode of American Horror Stories. As for her character, Alana, we know next to nothing other than this additional look we got at her when she was spotted filming scenes for the season in New York City earlier this summer. Now, AHS is still releasing character posters little by little, so check their social media to see if I missed any, but soon enough, it will all come into fruition as American Horror Story and NYC premieres its first two episodes next week on October 19th. There's a rumor that FX may release the entire season two episodes at a time, but only time will tell if that turns out to be true. They haven't made any official announcement at the time of me recording this video. Last season, Double Feature premiered its first two episodes at once, just like NYC, but then, of course, as you know, they released it one week at a time for the remainder of the season, so I have no reason to believe that they're gonna stray away from that, but maybe. Now let's move on to some leaked episode titles that we've gotten for the season. At this point, we allegedly know every single episode title of AHS NYC, so let's take it one at a time. Episode 1 is called Something is Coming. Episode 2 is called Thank You For Your Service. Episode 3 is called Smoke Signals. Episode 4 is called Blackout. Episode 5 is called Bad Fortune. Episode 6 is called The Body. Episode 7 is called The Sentinel. Episode 8 is called Fire Island. Episode 9 is called Requiem 1981-1987 Part 1, which means Episode 10 is called Requiem 1981-1987 Part 2. Try saying that three times fast. So there's a handful of things that I want to point out about these titles. Let's first talk about episode four, entitled Blackout. This episode could be a reference to the 1977 New York City blackout, or it could potentially even take place during that blackout. Merry Girl Moody did a very informative video about what went down on the night of that 1977 blackout, so I recommend checking out her video if you want to theorize on how it could connect to AHS NYC. The next episode I want to talk about is episode 5, entitled Bad Fortune. This is when a lot of the psychic reader scenes are rumored to take place, so either those plot points begin or come to some sort of dramatic head in this episode, so expect those scenes with Charlie Carver, Isaac Powell, Sarah Bernhard, and Billy Lord to be a part of this episode. Fire Island is a reference to the real island off the shore of New York City, where the cast and crew were recently spotted shooting scenes for the season, and probably for this episode. And then of course, the two-part season finale entitled Requiem 1981-1987 is our first concrete indication of a time period. This title hints towards two separate storylines, or maybe one long storyline, spanning from the year 1981 to the year 1987. So let me know all of your theories about these characters and these episode titles in the comments below. And there you have it. That is my roundup of all things, all of the things that I can gather about this fast approaching season. Make sure you are subscribed as I'll be here every week with coverage of AHS NYC once it starts airing a week from today, or probably even less than that if you're watching this any time after the day I post it. I want to give another big thank you to Atlas VPN for sponsoring this video. Be sure to check out that link in the description for three years of their service for just $1.99 a month. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.